The uh, purpose of this tutorial is to describe why the equations um, for when you're describing horizontal translations, why the um, sign of that number you're subtracting or adding to the x seems to be counterintuitive, seems to be opposite what the equation sort of tells you should be going on. So I'm going to use the parabola here, but this would apply to any function. The parabola is probably one of the simpler ones to deal with. So uh, the red function here is the y equals x squared function. And so I've graphed y equals x minus 3 squared. That's the blue one here. And I've, I've um, included a couple points in each graph. Uh, for example, the um, original y equals x squared, or we often call it the parent function. It has the point 2, 4 on it because 2 squared is 4. It has 3, 9 on it because 3 squared is 9. See, if I substitute 3 in place of x, your 3 squared gives me 9. And, and these two points, um, I've also included their images. So, for example, this parabola is shifted three units to the right. So, 2, 4 gets shifted into the 5, 4 point, or the 3, 9 point gets shifted into the 6, 9 point. Uh, that's the translated image of 2, 4. That's the translated image of 3, 9. So, what I want to address here is this parabola has been shifted three units to the left. And a lot of students, when they start working with translations, they look at the equation and say, okay, x subtract three, that should go three units to the left. So, but it's the opposite of what it actually is. See, the blue parabola is actually shifted three units to the right. And the perplexing thing for a lot of people is, you know, why does it seem to be the opposite? You know, why is x minus three going to the right? And it's because of the fact that, um, yeah, okay, let's talk about the 2, 4, and 5, 4 points. So 2 squared gives you 4, and that's why the point 2, comma 4 is on the graph. Now, when we shift that point over to the right, notice that 5, 4 is called the image of 2, 4 because horizontally they're the same height. Um, the function value is still 4, the y coordinate is 4 for both of them. So the idea is this. If I shifted it 3 units to the right, then the x coordinate is now 5 instead of 2. It's, it's 3 bigger. Okay. And so if I'm talking about the equation of a parabola, and my x coordinate is 5, and I want the y coordinate to be 4, what do I have to do to the 5? So that when after I've added or subtracting something, uh, I square a number that's going to give me four. And it's I'm going to bring my graphing calculator over here. And you see the thing is that the five has to have three subtracted from it, okay? So that I get the number that I would square to end up with a y value of four. So that, see, I have to subtract 3 from that 5 so that I'm able to then square 2 to make uh, a y value of 4. So that's why it's, it's x minus 3 squared, because if we're shifting 3 inch to the right, we've made x3 bigger. So the equation has to compensate for that so that I can plug that point in and still get a y value of 4. Um, uh, this, this, the same idea is true here. 3, 9 changes into 6, 9 because I've shifted 3 units to the right. And it's 3 that you square to make 9. Okay, So this point 6 here okay, would have to have, C6 would have to have 3 subtracted from it to have the correct number, 3, to square to make 9. Okay. And you can use any numbers you want on this. Um, whoops, let's move this over here. So, for example, if I were to highlight, um, uh, let's say, the point one one here. Okay, so one comma one, and let's label that. And so that's going to translate into the four one point if we're going three units to the right. So let's let's make the point four comma one. Okay. There we go. So 
one one translates three units right to make four one their image point that's the image of this on, on the second parabola and you see the reason the x coordinate of this is four is because we've gone three units to the right so we're adding three to the one to make that four well this point here on the new image see has an x coordinate of four so what do i need to do to four so that i get the right number to square to get one okay and of course it's the same as the other ones i whoops uh, I would have to subtract 3 so that I get a 1 and then square it to get that 1 for that y value. Um, I did make, um, yeah, we'll leave this on. I did make uh, two other parabola, uh, another parabola here. Okay, so one that's shifting to the left instead of the right. So uh, if we compare this purple one, um, it's shifting five units. So, for example, two, four goes one, two, three, four, five units over here. And let me turn that label on. So that's the point negative three, four. So you see the um, um, the x coordinate has been reduced by five. So two subtract five is negative three. And you see that is certainly the image of that point because the the function value y value is still four. Okay. So what do we have to do to negative 3 in the parabola so that I get the correct number to square to get 4? Well, if we bring our calculator back here. See, I've got negative 3. See, I would have to add 5. Because see, we went left 5, so the x coordinate is 5 smaller. So I have to add 5 to that x value to get a 2 so that when I do the squaring, I end up with 4. Okay? So it's kind of like the this number here in the equation is kind of like it's a correction value or a correction so you know when you shift something a certain way you have to correct it back like the opposite so that you're going to square the right number to get um, whatever correct y value or function value and the same is true not just parabolas I'm going to pause the video for a second here and make another uh, kind of graph so I get rid of my parabolas, and I, I, I now have a cubic function, y equals uh, x cubed here. And I illustrate a point, the point 2 comma 8. That's on y equals x cubed because 2 cubed is 8, or 2 to the third uh, exponent is 8. And uh, so um, I have another uh, cubic graph here, and it shifted 1, 2, 3, 4 units to the right. Okay. And so it's y equals x minus 4 to the raised to the third power. So y equals x minus 4 cubed. And again, you know, well, it's x minus 4. Why does that go 4 to the right? Okay, so I'm, that's what I'm trying to explain here. So if the, um, so 6, 8 is the image of 2, 8 because I've moved 4 to the right. That's, that's what I'm trying to do here. So because now I've shifted that point 4 to the right, instead of the x coordinate being 2, it's now 6 because I've added 4 to it. Okay. So what do you think, what do I have to do in the cubic equation so that I start with 6 for my x? What do I have to do to it so that i cubing the correct number to make 8? Okay. And so um, it's, you know, it's 6. I would have to subtract 4 from it to get 2, and then 2 raised to the power of 3 gives me 8. So it's the C, it's the subtracting 4. Because I've shifted it 4 to the right, I've increased x by 4. So the equation has to have x subtract 4, okay, the opposite, so that um, when I plug a certain value in for x, I get the correct y value that's supposed to go with that. So that's why it's x minus 4 cubed, because the subtract 4 is the opposite of adding 4 to the point to translate 2, 8 into 6, 8. So, so that's the idea, so that x minus something or x plus something, it's, it's sort of, again, compensating for the fact that you translate a certain direction, so the equation has to, to do the opposite, so that you're actually going to be squaring or cubing or whatever the function does, to get the correct function value. So I hope that makes some sense to some people. And uh, that's the end. If you have any questions, you know, please leave them in the comments after I post this. But that's the end of my tutorial.